Okay. Welcome, friends. Today is the giant cola taste off where we pit our homemade cola against a selection of I'm other colas. I'm a little colas. overwhelmed. There's a lot here. So there's, I'm a little overwhelmed. there's 11 different colas. And we have devised a plan. I, okay, so first, all of you keyboard warriors who are like, this isn't scientific. It's not scientific. It's not scientific <laughs> at all. 100%. First of all, let's just point out it's two data points, it's, and we'll leave it at that, and yeah. that's all we need to say. But we've devised a plan of filling the glasses, lettering the glasses and the colas, but numbering our rating system. We're going to pour the colas, we're going to switch the glasses around twice or three times, then we're going to taste test through them, and we're going to rate from one to five stars on each cola. Select which one is our favorite. Um, figure out which of the ones taste the same, which might be very interesting. Pick out which one is our least favorite. And then find out if we can pick out which one is, say, Coke, or if we can say this is Coke or Mexican Pepsi or thumbs up. Put that out. <laughs> okay. I, uh, have, I will say that I have the least amount of notes on one because it was the first one I tasted and like, yeah. everything was compared to it, so it's like the base. So there's, there's a couple that have less in the glasses where we've obviously gone back and tasted them several times because we so monkey in the room i'm going to say right off the bat number four that's ours um yes i said it was it, it was very herbal full it <laughs> is my word it had a, a very strong it, it has the rootiest kind of it has flavor. the strongest most pronounced flavor out of any of them i would say yes so number four is, i would say that so number four is no looking well, no, now we get to look. But the, when you look, you see all of them. Okay. No, we can look at this point. Oh, no, I can't look. No, you oh, can't no, look. Because okay. I'm not going to make any guesses on okay. which ones they are. Okay. K is ours. Okay, so yes. number f number four was definitely ours, and I got that right. I'm sure you got that I right, I did too. get that one correct. Okay. That's the only one I can... That I, I, for me, that is the only one I could openly say I knew which one it was. I have two more that I think I can guess at that I can say which ones okay. they are. I'm going to say number two is Coke. Oh, I should tell you what the letter is on the bottom. I. Number two? No. It's letter I. I. What is it? No, what is it? Um, it's, I believe it's this one. The Mexican, Mexican Pepsi. Pepsi. So that's the one I rated the highest. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, lifelong Coke drinker picks Mexican Pepsi as his favorite. I think that's pretty funny. Okay. Okay. Do you have any that you think are? I don't think I can identify okay. any of them. I'm going to say two more. I'm going to say two more. I'm going to say number five is the Haritos. Okay. Letter? F. No. Oh. Coke Life. I'll put it in front so that you can... Uh... So it was, to me, the most caramely flavored. It was very caramely flavored. That's... Uh, I actually thought five and one tasted a lot alike, except five had more bubbles. I know that sounds okay. weird. It, like it was better yep. carbonated than one, but I felt like they tasted very similarly. And I'm going to say that ten is... Thumbs up. I can't read the letter on the bottom. J. C. C. Really? Yep. What is C? Is it J or is it C? C. Boylan's. Boylan's. Okay. So I rated that one star. <laughs> I th it tasted burnt to me. That's yeah. how I described it, burnt. Yeah. It did not... Uh... So... Um, 11? What did you say for 11? I, I didn't say anything great about what 11. That's really all I said. At that point, I, I couldn't to, come up any, with any more words. To me, 11 just tasted odd. So 11 is B. That's the thumbs up. Is that the thumbs up? So it's just odd. It's, um, no, and that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. That just means that you didn't have the right words. I, it's, it's, it means that it's not a flavor that I'm, I would, it's not a flavor that I would relate to a cola, but this is the number one selling cola in India, which probably puts it pretty close to the top of the number one selling cola in the world. Yes, it's also a Coca-Cola brand. Thumbs up, is it not? 
I it believe. Is, yeah. It is. It's made for India um, by India. It wasn't my favorite, but then neither was this. So, no. you know. Um, number nine had, to me, I said not much flavor at all. I also said number nine was very flavorless. So, number nine, flavorless H. <laughs> oh no, it's Coke. <laughs> Your favorite. Flavorless. God, that's horrible. So Canadian Coke. It Bottom wasn't horrible. But it's not that it's horrible. It's that you you are surprised in yourself. I'm your surprised. Yeah. Is in your, your yes. own judgment. Um, I rated that as the least flavorful out of the entire bunch, and that is Canadian Coke. Okay, because I thought five and one tasted, tasted the same. So much the same, except for the bubbles. Okay. What is one? Number one is D. Canadian Pepsi. So, so that's this one, right? Yep. Yeah. So Coca-Cola Life and Canadian Pepsi tasted the same the to right you, or just close to you. Out of the way so you can see better. There's now, there. number one, I gave three stars. I thought it tasted pretty good. That's funny. Yeah. Um, so the two the two Pepsis I rated the highest out of all of them. Let's move on. I don't even know what to I, say to that. I know. I'm you're going to let that sink in. I, I, I I'm just... going to have to change my purchasing habits. Or not be so stringent about your purchasing habits. So, number three, um, I didn't write a lot of notes about it. I, I said that it was creamy, which makes me feel like... it's. Oh, so it's G. Does that make it the Harvey? The Harvey. Okay. So this is a Kraft Cola from Quebec. That's number three? Number three. I... I I did rate it, I actually rated it higher because I liked the creamy. I liked the creamy flavor to it. Yeah, it is, it is very creamy, but it has a... I wouldn't say that it has a strong Coke flavor. It has a nap flavor, but it has a lovely... It has an aftertaste to it that doesn't... Oh, I didn't notice that. To me, the aftertaste is not... Okay. Uh, number six, I gave it one star and said it tasted like Pez. <laughs> number six. I said it was very fruity flavored. Yeah, so Pez. Like a cherry. Yeah. E. Six is E. That is Haritos. Haritos. Okay, so it, it had a, it to me it tasted like Pez. And that's, maybe that's why I said it had a, a fruity cherry flavor to it. Which, in, you know, <laughs> tasting 11 colas all in one go, which leaves seven and but eight. It's interesting because you drink this often and you, and it, when you do drink it, you say that it's distinctly different yes. than your Cokes. Yeah, whenever than we... Your other colas. Yeah, yeah, whenever we go for pupusas, this is the one that I have. And I like it with a pupusa because it does... It, it's, it tastes different. <laughs> I, I, and I like it. It goes really well with a pupusa. I've right, got two more, my friend. <sighs> seven and eight. So... So... I nope. said seven was very similar to... Seven, I gave no stars. I said low flavor, and I underlined worst. There's only two left on the counter that we haven't identified. I know. Number seven. H. Okay. No, no, J. I was going to say, you've already said that yeah, one. Yeah, I know. Sorry, my printing isn't very good. J. You've already said, oh, that's the Mexican cola. Okay, Mexican cola. Mexican Coke, I rated as the worst. Which is one of your favorites, apparently. One of my favorites. And then that leaves us with number eight, which I said was bitter. I put one star and said not good. Let's make sure. I'm assuming. Um, it's hard. To, it's really dark, isn't it? Maybe you shouldn't have used black, a black pen under something that's a brown liquid. What's the letter that's left? It should be an A. Yeah. Yes. RC. <laughs> so what have we learned? Well, we've learned that you that we develop habits. We develop habits and our taste buds, we go back to the same thing over and over and over again because of marketing probably. And it's what you know. Yep. Um, uh, but it could also be that you made a decision at the age of 10 and your taste buds have changed and or the flavors have changed yes. since you were 10. Yes. 
So the one that I, the ones that I would drink most often are the ones that I rated the lowest. The ones that I've never tasted before, I rated the highest. I would say that ours stands up, stands out, but it yes. also it stands it, up. It, it's very different. I, th I think like the Haritas, it's very different than the others. And the Haritas and the and the the, the Harvey, Harvey Burns. And Burns. I think those three are distinctly different. Like it, ours is very f flavor forward. Whereas the other ones are sort of flavored back and more. You're trying hard. You just tasted 11 colas. Uh, a, little bit, a little bit jittery from 11 colas. It rains a little mush. Um, I'm pretty much blown away. All right. Well, I did. So okay. I'm, I, I, I'm actually fascinated by watching you taste them all. On that, thank you very much for stopping by. We'll see you again soon. Um, try it yourself. Try it yourself. Let us know what you think. Go out and buy a whole it, pile of colas and. Give it a shot. There's something to be learned. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you again soon. All right, Glenn. I want you to try the Coke and the Pepsi. Just, just try them out. Side by side. I, <laughs> I'm still surprised at your answer. Pepsi. <laughs> I like the Pepsi. <laughs> I like the Pepsi. Okay. Mexican Coke. No, it's the Pepsi. 52 years, Julie, of fooling myself. It's the Pepsi. And me saying to, you know, and saying to a, a, a wait staff. Over and over Pepsi and over. Pepsi okay? No, Pepsi's not okay. Oh, thank you for asking. No. I'll have, a, I'll have something else. I'll have something. I mean, <laughs> oh, I appreciate that you asked me, but yep. no, I, it, it does matter. Thank you. My life has been a lie. Now all those restaurants you don't go to because they don't serve Coke, Glenn. KFC. The door has just opened KFC for you. KFC is back on the map.